we get three more cans of Play-Doh. Orange, purple, and blue. Now let's see what's inside. We get one cool extruder. And here are all the stamps that we'll be using today. Let's start by making a teddy bear. We'll use the blue Play-Doh. Now we'll use the purple Play-Doh to make a face. And we'll add some buttons too. Cool. Now let's make a giraffe. We'll use the yellow Play-Doh. We'll use the green Play-Doh to add some spots to the giraffe. Our giraffe is complete. Now let's have some fun with this extruder. We'll make this shape. We'll use the red Play-Doh. That's awesome! Cool! We just made a bunch of red string! The extruder also has some stamps we can use. We can make a butterfly. 
a cool face and a car. Now let's use the purple Play-Doh to make a butterfly. We'll use the orange Play-Doh to make a gingerbread man. He looks happy. Now let's make a dog. Isn't this dog cute? We can also use this green Play-Doh to make an alligator. Cool! We'll use this yellow Play-Doh to make a star. That looks really cool. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here, and today we'll be making a Play-Doh hamburger. Yum! Let's start off by using this brown Play-Doh to make some hamburger buns. Be sure to use the roller to get your shapes looking nice. Now that we have our hamburger buns, let's use the dark brown Play-Doh to make a hamburger patty. We'll use this knife to add a little bit of texture to the patty. Mmm, 
Mmm, that looks juicy. Let's use this yellow Play-Doh to make some cheese. Use the knife to cut the cheese into a square. Mmm. That looks cheesy. Now let's use the green Play-Doh to make some lettuce. Touch it up with your hands so that it looks like lettuce. That looks fresh. We'll use this red Play-Doh to make some tomatoes. Cool! Now let's decorate our cake. Our cake looks really pretty. We can also create some more baked goods from this playset. Here's a delicious looking donut. And here's a fudge cookie. Yum! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney toys here, and we're bringing you the Play-Doh Frosting Fun Bakery Set. Today we're going to be making some delicious baked goods. And it's also featuring Play-Doh Plus. That was the front of the box. And this is the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. The 
this is one of the pieces that will be attached to the base. Here are the Play-Doh that we'll be working with along with the two Play-Doh Plus. This is the base of the set. The instruction manual. Our icing maker. are two other pieces that will be attached to the base, our cookie display, and our other tools that we'll need to make our baked goods. Now that the base of the set is complete, we just need to open up a few more bags before we can start baking. Here's our pink Play-Doh Plus. Our yellow Play-Doh Plus. Our brown Play-Doh. And our purple Play-Doh that we'll use to make our baked goods. This is the icing maker. Attach it to the middle piece of the base. Here are the nozzles for the icing maker. A fork. cupcake wrapper, a knife, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, a square-shaped cookie cutter, a star-shaped cookie cutter, and a circle-shaped cookie cutter. Here's a spatula. some more decorations and the green plate our base for the cookie maker now we're ready to bake let's start off by using this heart-shaped cookie cutter and attaching it to the left piece of the base we'll use this purple nozzle to attach it to the icing maker Twist it and attach it right back into the middle piece. We'll use purple for our cookie. Make sure to grab enough Play-Doh so that you can fill the base of the cookie maker. Mold it. and then form a circle. Attach it back to the left piece and press down so that you can get a heart-shaped cookie. Doesn't that look great? Let's add some frosting to our heart-shaped cookie. Place it in the middle piece of the base, and we'll use the yellow Play-Doh Plus for our icing. Once you mold it, place it in the icing maker. Press the handle down all the way and you'll see that icing comes out. Mm. 
Mmm, this cookie already looks delicious. You can also take out the icing maker and do it by hand, like this. Yum! Once you finish your cookie, you can place it in the cookie display to cool it off. While we wait for our cookie, let's make our cupcake. We'll use the brown play-doh for the cake. Make sure to grab enough brown play-doh to fill the cupcake wrapper. Press down. And once you take it off, you'll notice that it's a cupcake shape. We'll use the pink Play-Doh Plus to add the frosting on top of the cupcake. Just like before, mold the Play-Doh and then place it inside the icing maker. Push the handle down and place it on top of the cupcake. and we have ourselves a pretty looking cupcake. Let's add some chocolate chips. Mmm, that looks good. If you want to add more to your baked goods, the base of the set offers you many decorations to choose from. Well, this concludes the Play-Doh Frosting Fun Bakery set. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Fun Factory Deluxe Set. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here are all the tools that they provide. And here's three cans of Play-Doh. Red, green, and yellow. Yum! We made ourselves a nice swirl popsicle. The base of the tower has many decorations for you to choose from. And here are a few of the decorations we created. You can place them on top of your popsicle like this. Doesn't that look good? Be sure to try out all the decorations. Yum! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and we're bringing you the Ice Cream Sunday Cart playset today.
Now the front of the box says that it's featuring the Play-Doh Plus, which we'll be using as whipped cream. Here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's the Play-Doh that we'll be using to make our sundae. Here is our Sunday card. And here's everything that we need to make our Sundays. We'll first open up the Play-Doh to find out what we have. Here's the Play-Doh Plus, which we'll be using for whipped cream. This is our mint chocolate chip Play-Doh. And our purple chocolate chip Play-Doh. Let's open up this package to see what's inside. Here we have our Sunday cup. A roller. Our ice cream cones. A tool to shape our ice cream. Our popsicle stick. Our whipped cream maker. A spoon. Another popsicle stick. And a tool to make our popsicle sticks. And here's a Play-Doh sign for our Sunday cart. All you have to do is attach it onto the top of the cart, like this. We're going to start by making a mint chocolate chip sundae. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Take out as much Play-Doh as you like. Mold it like this. And place it on top of the ice cream cone. Once you have the amount that you like, place the tool on top of the cone so we can make an ice cream shape. Clean it up and you'll have yourself a nice looking ice cream. Let's use this Play-Doh Plus to put whipped cream on top of our ice cream cone so we can make a sundae. Squeeze down and place on top of your mint chocolate chip cone. Yum! We have our whipped cream. Now we're going to make our purple chocolate chip ice cream cone. Just like before, grab as much purple chocolate chip Play-Doh as you like. Place it in the sundae cup and use the tool to form your ice cream. Once you've completed that, let's put some whipped cream on top of it.
and we have ourselves a delicious looking sundae in a cup. Now let's make some popsicle sticks. We'll combine the purple and green chocolate chip ice creams together. Place the stick in between the Play-Doh. Put it inside the popsicle making tool and clamp down. Tear off any unnecessary Play-Doh. We have ourselves a purple mint chocolate chip popsicle. Mm. Our Sunday cart gives us many decorations to choose from so we can decorate our Sundays. Let's make a star decoration. Place it on the Sunday, and we have ourselves a star purple Sunday. This concludes our video. We hope you enjoy making Sundays and popsicles with us. Subscribe to watch more. Thanks. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates Treasure Creations. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here are the three Play-Doh that they provide for us. We get one dolphin stamp, a treasure chest mold, one crocodile stamp, a stamp to make Izzy, a stamp to make Jake, A Tick Tock the Crocodile Cutter. A Cannon Presser. And the Pirate Sword that connects with the Cannon Presser. Let's start off by making a Jake Stamp. Cool! We'll use the blue Play-Doh for this one. Doesn't he look awesome? Ahoy there, Jake! Now let's use our red Play-Doh to make an Izzy stamp.
And here's Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Now let's use our gold Play-Doh to make a treasure chest. There's our first tomato. And here's our second tomato. Yum! Now let's place the second bun on top to complete the hamburger. Top it off with some sesame seeds with this white Play-Doh. My mouth is just watering looking at it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more Awesome Disney Toys. Thanks! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the Play-Doh Sweet Shop Ice Cream Playset. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Before we begin, let's begin by opening up the playset. Here are two ice cream cones. Here's the frosting maker. A tool to make our ice cream shape. A roller. This is the brown Play-Doh Plus that we'll be using for our ice cream. Here's the regular pink Play-Doh. And we also have a white Play-Doh with sprinkles. They also give us a spoon. Now it's time to make our ice cream. Let's use our white Play-Doh with sprinkles to begin. Take out as much as you can and then shape it into a ball like this. Then grab the tool and press down. Once you finish that, place it on top of an ice cream cone. We have our ice cream. Yum! But we're not finished. Now let's use the brown Play-Doh Plus to make chocolate frosting.
place it in the frosting tool and squeeze down. Mmm, doesn't that look good? The playset also provides you with many decorations to choose from. Let's use the pink Play-Doh to decorate our ice cream. We'll make a heart shape for this ice cream. Place it on top of your ice cream, and your ice cream is complete. Now that looks good. Now let's make our second ice cream by using the pink Play-Doh. Just like before, mold it into a circle and use the tool to shape it into an ice cream. Now let's place it on top of the yellow ice cream cone. We'll use the white Play-Doh with sprinkles to make our frosting. Yum! Now let's finish off this ice cream by choosing a decoration. We'll use our pink Play-Doh and make a gummy bear. Mm, doesn't that look good? Place it on top of the ice cream and our second ice cream is now complete. These are two really good looking ice creams. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the perfect pop maker by Play Doh Sweets Cafe. That was the front of the box, and this is the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. First thing we see are the four Play-Dohs that we'll be using. Here is the base of the pop maker. Here's the tower for the pop maker. Our popsicle molds. Here are some popsicle sticks. And another popsicle stick. This playset is very easy to assemble. All you have to do is place your tower on the base like this. Easy, right? Then you place the popsicle molds 
onto the tower. Now we're ready to make popsicles. Let's take out our Play-Doh. Here's our orange Play-Doh. Our blue Play-Doh. Our pink Play-Doh. And our white Play-Doh. We'll use the orange and the pink for our first popsicle. Once you get your Play-Doh, mold it like this. Then grab a popsicle stick and place your Play-Doh on top of it. Then to finish it off, place it on the base and press down on the tower. Awesome! We made a really good looking popsicle. Now let's take off this popsicle mold and put the other one on. For this popsicle, we'll grab a blue Play-Doh and our white Play-Doh. Just like before, mold the two Play-Dohs together. Once it's ready, place it on top of the popsicle stick and put it on the base. Doesn't that look cool? 